Hello, welcome back all on uh, Power Mill Pi Axis tutorial. And uh, in this video, we are going to cover uh, one more tool axis definition called from curve. And uh, this tool axis definition is uh, very much useful when you do have profiles with different angles. And uh, also, if you want to finish it with uh, simultaneous motion, then from curve is more useful to you actually. So for that, we do have a model here. In that model, uh, we need to generate a tool path over this groove region. So this groove is uh, designed in different uh, angles and it is also continuous. But more importantly, it's a continuous one surface actually. Okay. So for this, we are using from curve tool axis definition. So for that, uh, today we uh, use the surface finish. Okay. So in this one, um, I'm going to select a tapper tool here, which is the same shape of this uh, groove. And under surface finish, I'm using outside uh, this path surface and uh, parametric is my surface. You can change to distance uh, based on the surface uh, step over actually. And under pattern, uh, based on this value given, if you have preview it and uh, you can get that uh, uh, curve at the center actually, okay? So for that, uh, my block is covered fully, okay? So if I calculate uh, using the tool axis definition lead lean, I've calculated it. So you can be able to see that the tool is uh, just passing at the center of the groove, okay? Uh, at the same time, if I simulate the tool path here, so simulate from start, so you can see that it is moving perfectly. Okay, that is fine. But if you go, go under, see closely over the this curve region, the more rotary axis is working here actually. Okay, so if you look at closely again, so you can see this is fine. This corner is fine. But when it comes to this region, okay, this region and this region, the tool axis, uh, particularly rotary tool axis is uh, rotating there so what we would like to do is we need to control and move it as a straight so that we can able to control the cycle time also so that's what our aim here so for that i do have an uh, curve so what i did is i just draw a line uh, straight over the curve region actually so this uh, groove curve region i draw it instead of uh, this design i draw it strain so how i did it Okay, so if you uh, go and see this, I draw the line. So I draw the line here to here. So if you go and see the curve editor, so from this uh, center point to center point, that end, I draw a curve. And, uh, and also I draw a line here. Okay, so this uh, arc, end end point actually okay so here to here accept then i joined this to curve okay so again i go into curve editor midpoint of this one to midpoint of this one actually okay so now uh, my center point i received it so similarly you can do the through the center point here so and then what i did is i just uh, move this curve so I just move this curve. Actually, in this case, it is uh, I want to move in Z axis. So zero space, zero space. Uh, maybe I want to move 20 mm. Okay. So in this case, I move 20 mm here. Similarly, you move the other curves. So in this case, it's X towards X towards Y, and you will receive a outer curve. Then you have to join this curve to this curve using an arc. So as I did it here, actually. Okay. So this is what I did. So draw a line, straight line, and I join the curve here. So this is my tool axis uh, follow curve. So what I'm doing this, I just copy the same uh, tool path here. So instead of lead lean, I'm going to change to from curve option. Okay. Then I'm selecting that drive line inner actually. Okay. So so this is what about my from curve option. 
So for this, I'm selecting my surface again. And if you calculate that, okay. Now if you see the simulation, okay. So it, it will start here and there will not be any uh, any tilting of tool axis over the curve. It's just follows the curve actually. So this is what we did it. Uh, we minimized the rotary axis movement during the uh, curve regions actually. So you can see these regions. So if you do like this, uh, there will be minimum motions in the rotary action so that you can able to um, get the cycle time uh, exactly. So if you have more rotary axis, you will get uh, more cycle time comparatively your statistics time in the power mill action. So this is about from curve tool axis definition.